to the secret of mana. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> okay, so I'll give you a little bit of a backstory on this. Uh, yesterday, I was skimming around Facebook, and I saw on PlayStation's page that they have made a 3D remake of this game, The Secret of Mana. This was the game, um, I remember saying it in my introduction video, but <clears throat> I had mentioned that this was the very first RPG that I had ever played, and it changed my life forever. I mean, it, it was so much fun to play, the music was incredible, the story was incredible, and uh, it just, it, it sparked the fire of my love for RPGs in, in a whole. Now, granted, this is an action RPG. It's not like, you know, your fa your Final Fantasies, your Dragon Quests, you know, those sort of turn-based RPGs. But still, like, the elements are there. You have your hit points, you have your magic points, you have armor, you have weapons, you know, item management, all kinds of stuff, and party members, and cool stuff like that. But I'm going to stop gushing and talking, and we're going to start playing this game. So, we're starting a new game. Now, okay... When this game first came out, when it was brand new, this this is what you got. A blank screen with your hero. But now, they canonically have names for all three of your characters that you play as. But we're going to play this like we're playing it for the first time. And we're going to name our own character. And, um, well, I played this with uh, a friend of mine whom he was like my rival growing up. Uh, he was really, really good at video games, so he was like three or four years older than me. So there's, you know, no surprise he was better than me, but I always aspired to be as good as him. And um, this is, I, I played this game with him because you could play two players. And so he was the main character, this guy, and he named him... Kyrath. So that's what we're going to stick with. Because I think it's a really cool name anyway. And it kind of fits in. And it's nostalgic. So anyway, let's get going. Using the power of mana, a civilization had grown strong. In time, mana was used to create the ultimate weapon, the Mana Fortress. This angered the gods. They sent their beasts to destroy the fortress. A violent war rocked the world, and mana seemed to disappear. Before all was lost, a hero with the mana sword smashed the fortress. Though the civilization had been destroyed, the world was peaceful again. But time flows like a river, and history repeats. Oh man. This is still one of my favorite games ever. It's just so good. This is the world that we're going to be exploring. And it's zooming in where we're starting off. Hey, guys, wait up. Ah! Shh, be quiet. The Elder will find us here and he'll be mad. Yeah, we're not supposed to be here. There's a ghost around. Ha! Do you really believe that? People say that to scare us. But I heard Grandma say something about a shiny object near the falls. That must be some kind of treasure. We have to find it. Help! I'm falling! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Uh-oh. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Splash. Ouch! Phew. No way to get back up. Now what am I going to do? We're going to walk around is what we're going to do. I, I can't get to the menu yet. I need to change the uh, the speech window because with that background, it's kind of hard to read. Kyrath. Kyrath. Huh? <laughs> we'll go oh, this way. There we go. The village is this way. I have to find something to cut through. What a in I was gonna say inconveniently, but what a conveniently placed sword! I better go get it. Kyrath, remove the sword. 
Who are you? And what's this sword doing here? Ugh. Ow, that light! So bright I can't see! Ah! Uh, ghost Kyrath, it is I who asked. The sword. Hmm? <laughs> Say what? You mean this sword? I have the power! The brilliant light is gone in an instant. I have to get back! Okay, now can I open the menu? Nope, still can't open the menu. Maybe once I get through here. I can cut through with this sword! Yes, we can. Whoa! What's a rabbi doing in a place like this? He's a dead rabbi. Boom, there we go. Okay. What what menu is my... There we go. Okay. I had to remember how to... What buttons did what? Okay, let's see. Uh... Let's give ourselves a blank background. Oh, wait. First, let's pick our window. Okay. Uh... We'll just stick with the classic background and then, you know, nothing so we can see all the... Well, maybe there's like solid color? No, they're all patterns. Uh... Can make it darker, that would help. Yeah. There we go. That'll work. It's good enough. Alright. Now, if you've never played this game before, yes, it's an action RPG, but it's also, like, kind of turn-based in a way. Because that meter, like, once you swing your sword like that, your meter down here is filling up. It's your percentage. And once you're 100%, then you're going to do the most damage possible. Because if you just... Well, first of all, like... If you just keep swinging, it's not really doing anything. See, it, it just keeps saying zero. And every now and again, see, it's like you have to wait for them to recover before you can attack. And depending on what your stamina meter is, or whatever that's technically called, will depend on how strong your attack is. So it's kind of a, a hit and wait, hit and wait, hit and wait, you know. But, you know, that's... I guess they didn't want it to go too fast, or maybe they're just trying to teach kids patience, which... A lot of kids today don't really seem to have, let's be honest. I mean, everything is really fast and available right at your fingertips. People don't know how to wait for things anymore. You know, if you wait, good things will happen. So we're going to keep attacking these rabbites. And there's no block button either. You kind of, you have to depend on your level and your armor to save you from enemy attacks because eventually like once you level up high enough and you're you know depending on what level the um, enemies you're facing are you'll automatically parry an attack with your weapon but right now I'm just level one my sword skill went up to level uh, well, I think it starts off at zero, and then you go to level one, because right now I just went to level one. And that means when I hold down my attack button, then I can charge an attack. And once that's full, then I do a cool attack like that. Now I've reached level two. Okay, so yeah. I don't know. Yeah, sword skill was level one, but my character level was already level one. And now I just went to level two. And that's what we needed to happen before we got back to the village. Because there's a surprise for us waiting back at the village. And not the good kind. And I started picking this up instead. That's okay. Candy is a healing item. It recovers your HP. And every time you level up, you automatically uh, regain all of your uh, HP and MP. Which the character, your main character, he doesn't end up getting any kind of magic. It's just, uh, it's just your weapons alone that you have to use. So yeah, since they were making a 3D remake of this, I decided it'd be a good idea to go ahead and uh, play the original. 
since, you know, people are talking about it now, and I wanted to showcase the original for all of its glory that it is. Uh, Kyrath, on an errand for the Elder, best hurry along. Oh, you're not... Oh, okay. I thought maybe he wasn't going to sell me anything until uh, I talked to the Elder. Now, I can't remember. I already have... I think I already have the overalls, and I can buy the bandana. Let me, uh... Let me exit out of here. And we'll figure out. We'll go into our equip. Yeah, I've got the overalls, and that's all I've got. But I need ten more in order to get the bandana. So I won't worry about that right now. I should be alright. So we're gonna make our way right here. Kyrath! You're not hurt! They just told me what happened. I thought you were a goner. I told you it was stupid to bring someone like him along. You idiots! Weren't you told not to go there? Huh? Kyrath! What's that you have? Oh no! It couldn't be! Cool! Did you find the treasure? Way to go! What have you done? How could you have pulled out the mana sword? It's impossible! The mana sword? Legend has it that our village is finished. If the sword is removed, and here it is. It is said that the mana sword has been protecting our village from disaster. So that's it. That's why all the monsters are attacking us now. How could an outsider like you yank out the sword and bring doom to us all? Ow, ow. Hey, stop it. You did it. It's your fault. You! Please stop! Uh oh. Ah! An earthquake! He just walks around. <laughs> Down we go. Ah! That didn't stay up long enough. Help! A uh, monster! You have the sword, don't you? Use it! Hey, can you hear me? Watch how the monster moves before attacking. That's kind of important, but it's not super important. Uh oh. So yeah, he can use uh, magic. So it doesn't matter if you're close to him or not. He's gonna he's gonna hurt you. See, and now I'm unconscious, so I'm just laying here. But it doesn't matter if I if I die, I'll just get picked back up by the guy that was yelling at us to watch the monsters attack. Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay. See, so we die, but... Hang on! I'll help you! Clear your mind! Wait till you have 100% power, and aim carefully! And now we're back. Just to get unconscious. <laughs> okay. There we go. I'm not gonna worry about charging the attack. I don't think it's really gonna make that much of a difference. I need to hurry up and beat this guy. There we go. There we go. Ah. Uh, there we go. Okay. Should be almost done. There we go. And this happens after every boss battle. Your guys are like, yeah, 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 yeah! Just like Bono. Got Swords Orb. You did it! Wait there, I'll pull you up. Ah! ah, you sissy. That appears to be the real Mana Sword. Huh? What? It is supposed to be pulled out by a knight in times of great trouble. Problem is, you're too young. Something must have happened to the Mana Sword. Here, it's yours! Sorry, but the sword is losing its power and must be re-energized. Only the person who pulled it free can do that. What should I do? Visit Sage Luca in the Water Palace. She's been protecting these lands for over 200 years. Listen to her advice. What's that little party hat that he's wearing? I never really understood that. Kyrath! The Elder wants you in his house! Well, I have to be off. 
Oh, my name is Gemma. I'll wait for you inside the water palace. Okay. What does the Elder want? Can't be good. Elder! We can't go on like this! Yeah, there's no relief in sight! Oh, Kyrath! You've really done it to me this time. The reason why monsters have appeared is because you removed the sword. It's settled. We can't let Kyrath stay in the village anymore. If we do, more monsters will come after him. Go! Get out of here! Yeah, be on your way now! I don't want to do this, but I have no choice. I'm going to have to ask you to leave the village. You can take what's in the treasure chest downstairs. Ah, uh, sad music. <laughs> the animation of opening the chest is always so hilarious. I took you in and I raised you, but there's nothing I can do to help. Please forgive me. I know I've told you this before, but... Your mother brought you to this village when you were just a baby. Soon afterwards, she disappeared. I took you and have done my best to raise you, but now we must part. I truly hope you can find your mother someday. Goodbye, Kyrath. Alright, well, we're getting kicked out of the village for doing something that was supposed to be good, but apparently it wasn't. So let's go over here and we'll buy our bandana. I'm only selling you stuff because the Elder ordered it. Okay. So we'll get our bandana. And we'll keep getting a lot of candy. It's only 10, but we'll get plenty of it. Uh, let's go ahead and get a couple of these. And then I don't... Yeah, we can't afford that just yet. Okay, that's enough for now. Yes, I know. We have to equip it. Double click and there we go. Alrighty. So, I think that's going to do it for the first episode of Secret of Mana. Um, in the next episode, we're just going to start our adventure by being an outcast of the only village that we've known and loved. But, until the next episode, thank you guys very much for watching this episode. I'll be back later with another video. I hope to see you there. My name is Dave, and I am the One Man Raid. See ya!